Good morning. So you may have heard of something called internal link building. This video I'm gonna show you, well, I'm gonna show myself too, uh, a new tool called Link Whisper that makes the process of building internal links a lot easier. Um, so we'll see how it works. I haven't tried it out yet. I've installed it. Uh, I'm gonna see what it's all about. Let's go. All right, so before I actually get into the software and start testing it out, let me explain what internal link building really is and why it's important. So if you're brand new to blogging, this is probably not something that you really need to concern yourself with right away. Although getting it right from the start is going to make your life a lot easier down the road. But if you're like me and you didn't really find out about internal link building until you'd already accumulated like 50 plus posts, uh, you're going to really, really, really uh, want to pay attention uh, because you can really increase the, uh, the visibility of your website in Google if you have a good internal link building structure. So internal link building is different than regular link building, right? Where you're trying to get other sites to link to you and you know, use their domain authority to hopefully uh, rank your site better in Google. Everyone knows that backlinks in Google are like uh, social credibility. When someone says that your site is good, that the way that they do that is with backlinks. So if they link to your site, that tells Google that it's a decent article. And with internal link building, we want to link to our own articles. So I have like a hundred and some posts right now and a few of them don't have any internal links. And that's not good in Google because it doesn't show uh, how they're connected to the rest of my site. So adding internal links, I've been trying to do it, but I've been doing it all manually. and It's been a pain in the butt. If you've tried this, uh, you're just like me and you know how annoying it is and how difficult it is. It's very tedious. So I've been trying to find softwares that will do it. I used like Thrive, uh, or not Thrive, I used Thirsty Affiliates. I tried to kind of game that and I tried to put, it just didn't work, it ended up being a nightmare. Uh, Thirsty Affiliates is fine, but it doesn't work for internal link building like I had hoped. Uh, but my friend Spencer Hawes just created a new software uh, and I'm pumped to test it out. It's called Link Whisper, it's brand new. Uh, I'm psyched to test it out based off of his video alone. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Basically the software is supposed to automate the process. Uh, it works with WordPress. I've already installed it on my blog. Now let's go into my site and actually see what's going on. Okay, here we are inside of my WordPress admin area. I have currently 166 published posts and those are the ones I'm concerned with. There's uh, no internal links to drafts or anything else, that's good. I shouldn't be linking to stuff that's not published. But over here, I'm able to filter this uh, and I can see how many internal links are showing. This is from Yoast. This is not from um, Link Whisper. This is something different. Uh, I do recommend everyone gets Yoast. It's free, they have a premium plan, but I highly recommend Yoast. So I can filter that and see which articles don't have any internal uh, or inbound links our internal links, sorry. And it's quite a lot of them. So that's not good. I need to, so that whole page, it kind of starts right here. Um, this whole page of posts, which is like 20 some posts, uh, don't have any internal links. So that's not good. So what I need to do is figure out how to, uh, how to link to those. And the hard part is, is you wanna find some relevant anchor text. Anchor text is going to be the actual words that you put the hyperlink inside. Make sense? So the hyperlink to this one is going to be um, four odd things, blah, blah. This is the hyperlink. And I need to find something uh, that goes with that that is relevant. So it could be something like uh, health or productivity. I could link inside of that and I would do that in another blog post. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to filter here inside of Link Whisper. I want to filter it to show just the ones that have no internal links. And I'm going to try to add to them. So let's come down here to, to one of my uh, recent posts that I want to add. Okay, product sourcing groups. Seven alternatives to Amazon revenue calculator. This should be a relatively easy one to do. So let's see here what it comes up with. And also, while that's loading, let's, let's go into Ahrefs. I can see all the internal pages and I can see the internal pages um, that don't have incoming links. 
page has only one internal link. Page has no follow and do follow incoming links. Uh, redirect page has only one orphan page. All right, so this, I wanna to try to improve on this number. So my health score right now is 85%. I'm hoping to kick that up uh, with, uh, with just fixing all of these um, blog posts that don't have any in inbound links. So let's see how high I can get that kicked up. And then we'll also check back in on my traffic and see if anything changes. So right now it pops up with this one article, Rev Seller Overview, and that's a good post that does well for me. Um, so right here, jumping around to different calculators. So what, what the coolest thing here that I found is that you can click on the text um, and actually select just the things you want. So right here, I've got different calculators. Different calculators is my anchor text and it's gonna link to that. So now I can select that and then do add links. And now it's added that link. So that is really, really cool. So normally what I'd have to do is come into posts come into post, find the post that I wanna add it to, read through the post, find the relevant spot to add it, and then add it. So this is saving me so much time, right? Okay, now that I added it, I'm gonna show you what it actually did. Let's double check and make sure it actually does what it's supposed to. Uh, so what I used was the product sourcing. Let me just see if I can find it. Find the anchor text different calculators, that was the one I used. Let's click on it, make sure it works, boom. Amazon FBA calculator is so awesome. It was so fast. Um, I can do this now with all of my, all of my posts and I'm gonna be able to get this done in literally a fraction of the time. I'm gonna say like, probably it's gonna take 10% like as long, if that. It's so, 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 so cool. So now what I'm gonna do, and you're not gonna have to watch all this because it's gonna take me a minute, but not, nearly as long as it would if I did it manually. I'm gonna go through, I'm going to add links to all of these, and I'm also gonna to try uh, to see what I can do about pages with no outbound internal links. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that this, hopefully this uh, fixes my internal link structure. All right, so I just went through and did every single one of my orphaned posts. It took me less than 20 minutes. So cool, so powerful. I can definitely say now that I highly recommend Link Whisper. Uh, I'm going to go and get an affiliate link for it and I'm going to post it below in the comments if you're interested. It's $47 for a single license and if you want to get multiple licenses you can get uh, that for not that much more like 77 bucks and something else. Uh, and it is a yearly subscription but I highly recommend it. This just saved me so much time. It's going to drive me traffic. If you have a lot of blog posts like me or if you just want to make sure that your internal link structure is right from the beginning, I highly recommend Link Whisper. All right, take these guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Peace.